Yo, my dudes! Welcome to Coffee Combos! What's going on? What's rocking and rolling? Hope you guys are all having a great morning. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, you guys know, especially on this series, I try to keep it kind of tame, try to keep it kind of down low. We usually rock out to, like, some lo-fi and stuff like that, but I'll be honest, I saw this Super Smash Bros. remix by my boy VGR. I literally just discovered it, like, three seconds ago, and I was like, bro, bro, I cannot play this. This is literally fucking fire. So, shout out to my boy VGR. He's extremely talented. I met this man at PAX. He's freaking amazing, but Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Combos. I'm gonna kind of keep it on the down low because you guys know we gotta keep that tame atmosphere. We gotta rock and roll. We're gonna have a fantastic conversation today. I'm really excited about today because we are not live at like 6 a.m. It's like 11 a.m., which is crazy because it's a weekend. Obviously, I'm able to start the stream a little later. So those of you guys who have a little bit of a late start to your mornings, you guys are able to hop in and it's had a good time for everybody. So that's great. That's just fantastic. Anyways, we got a new member in the form of Big Uzi. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the member squad. I appreciate it. You just getting access to videos early as well as member exclusive live streams. Um... <laughs> Dylan's in the stream. This man says, this better be in Georgia or I'm upset. <laughs> well, pour your sweet tea down the drain, Dylan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I couldn't make it. I'll be real. I just couldn't make it. I wanted to go out to breakfast with you guys, but that's an eight-hour drive uh, there and back. Well, eight-hour drive including the there and the back, and that's just way too much for me today. I have so much to do today. It's a little bit ridiculous. It's going to be a super productive day, though, so I'm really excited about it. Anyways... We have Starverse up in the stream. We have Bubbly Chan up in the stream. I'm going to go ahead and get some lo-fi going. Like, as much as, as I fucking love this remix right now, we got to get some vibes going. There we go. There we go. Let's take a step back. Let's relax. Let's drink some coffee. Let's fucking do it. I'm excited for today's stream. It's going to be a good time. Um, technically, it's not a coffee combo. It's past 12. Well, it's only a level 11, 17 for me. So, so, so screw you, Starverse. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I had a little bit of a late awakening today. I uh, woke up at around like 10 a.m., which honestly is to be expected. It's a miracle that I'm even up right now because I literally didn't go to bed until 6 a.m. So your boy was up basically all night. And I'll be real, I'll be honest with you guys, I was up just watching like Infinity War clips and like getting excited for Endgame. I know, I know, I just fell into that trap of like YouTube where you start watching one clip and then it just gets flooded with your recommended and you just can't help yourself. I literally was watching clips all the way back from like fucking Incredible Hulk, bro. I was watching so many clips, I feel like I watched the entire MCU last night. It was wild. It was wild. That thumbnail, oh yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun with it. Honestly, I've been getting like more and more just meme -y with my thumbnails, especially with like Astrolock. You guys saw like the fucking upside down sunglasses and the and the like this that I've been doing, you know? <laughs> It's gotten to the point now where like I want every thumbnail to be sort of unique, but there's only a certain amount of facial expressions I can make, you know? Um, got my coffee ready? Heck yeah, Create Nation. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Thank you all so much for being awesome. I really appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the stream. It means the world to me. Also, uh, before we get too far into this, we are going to be doing a member exclusive Smash Bros. live stream later tonight. I'm going to actually freaking do it. We're going to play some Joker with you members. I'm super duper excited for it. Um, just a little bit of a shout out here. It's been a long time since I've done a member exclusive live stream. And I'm really sorry about that. Literally, I just haven't had the time, to be honest. Like, I've had, I've, I don't want to, like, What's the word? I don't want to trim down the normal live streams just for the sake of doing member exclusive ones. You know, like I want the member exclusive ones to be extra on top of the typical live streams that we do. Uh, but now today I finally have enough time uh, to go ahead and rock out with that. So later tonight at around like 7 p.m. Central Time, we're going we're gonna to do some Smash with you members. And uh, it's going to be a freaking awesome time. I want to start doing those streams weekly because I know, you know, I, I know you guys obviously. Um, well, you guys should be expecting those live streams because of the fact that I've said that you guys can access that sort of stuff. And I just really haven't been coming through on that. That, so I'm really sorry, but uh, moving forward, gonna do those weekly just because you guys obviously deserve them. Your your support means the world to me, and I want to make sure I deliver on that promise. Um, so yeah. And in case you guys are wondering what a member exclusive live stream is, uh, anybody can watch the live stream. It's just that members can only or members are the only ones that can chat, and then members are gonna be the only ones who can play in in Smash Bros with me. Um, so anybody can watch. It's just members are gonna be only, the only ones in the chat. Basically, that's the only difference. Uh, yo, Grimshell, how with the two dollars super chat? Thank you so much, man. He says so. Ashley loses Smash tonight. Yeah, I mean, if I'm playing Joker, I'm, I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked. Uh, just because you know I literally haven't played Joker. Like I, I he literally came out like yesterday. I downloaded him i have the dlc but i just haven't actually gotten into him yet um so it'll be a good time 
It'll be fun. I mean, obviously, we won't just play Joker. I'll switch around. I'll play my main. I'll play some Greninja. We'll rock out. We'll do the Diggy Darn thing. Um, yo, Josh is up in the stream. How you doing, Josh? We rocking the brunch combo. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We're rocking and rolling. We're rocking and rolling. Thank you all so much for, for just being amazing. Hope you all having a great morning. I know it's totally crazy doing a coffee combo on a weekend. What? What? And it's not at 6 a.m. That's that's the craziest part about it. Uh, but I'm actually really glad, as I said, to be doing a coffee combo that's not super duper early because it does open it up to more people, especially here in the United States, you know, where time zones are similar or like that. I don't know, man. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool that we're able to rock out and do like a like a noon ish coffee combo. And it still counts because, I mean, I'm drinking coffee. I just woke up. It still counts. It still counts. Hmm. Astro, it's like midnight for me. Jeez. Jeez. Yo, comment down below. What uh, what time is it by you guys? What time is it by you guys? For me, it's literally 11.21 a.m. So I, I this sort of counts. And I, it was actually a goal of mine. Like, I wanted to do a coffee combo today. Uh, but one of my main goals was like, okay, I'm going to start this in the morning. Like, we're going to do this in the morning. I know I'm kind of like riding on the edge here. You know, literally in 40 minutes, it'll be afternoon. But I'm really glad that I was able to at least somewhat hit that morning time. Uh, 12 21 p.m 10 21 a.m 10 p.m 4 20 p.m Jeez, you guys are you guys are wild out here you guys are wild out here with these time zones that's awesome though hashtag scotland yo shino shout out to you man shout out to you man that's awesome that's awesome yeah I, this is just like such an awesome series i'm so glad you guys have been so receptive of coffee combos because literally i have so much fun doing it it's just such a great start to i feel like everyone's day like it's a great start to my day because i'm able to feel like i did something productive uh, and also i'm gonna get i'm able to get to i'm able to i'm able to talk to you guys um and also it kind of forces me to get up and also it's just super chill laid back i'm able to hang out it's great man it's great so let's go ahead and talk about something we need like a we need like a topic here what are you guys thinking what are you guys thinking let's let's go on like some crazy tangent i'm ready to literally talk about anything right now frank i miss you i miss you too bubbly chan i miss you too man how you doing how you doing, dude? I'm ready to stay in my home all day. I'm from Canada, and today is 420, so you know what that means. LOL, yo, Big Goosey, I... By all means, man. By all means. Um, hope you have a great day, man. <laughs> hope you have a great day, man. Wait. Wait a second. No, there's no way. There's no way. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I saw someone in the chat. I thought I saw someone in the chat that I, I, uh, I have a long history with, but no, nah, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think so. Frank looking like a snack this Saturday. That's my topic. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Also, I have to plug. It's all thanks to my Asteroid Merch dot shop. You already know what's up. The wettest merch in the game. Shout out, shout out, shout. You already know what's up. We got new merch coming soon. It's about to be great. It's about to be great. Humans against mustard. Oh yeah, let's just let's just make a. We'll make another one called Humans against ketchup. Just screw it. Why not? Why not? Um. Anyways, I'm only staying up for the stream, so screw sleeping. Yo, Austin, I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, man. You're dedicated. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> any 420 intros today? Nah, not today. Not today. I'm not really celebrating 420 today. Um, just having a good old time, hanging out. Actually, I was going to ask you guys. I was thinking about this before the stream, um, and this might be a stupid question, but it also might not be a stupid question. So why? what, what about 420 relates to weed? Like, I, obviously, I know it, they are related because, like, everybody's like, 420 blaze, uh, you know? But, like, <laughs> what what about it specifically? Like, what about those numbers specifically relate to... I, I actually don't... Like, I was thinking about it today. I was like, why is that? Like, what do those numbers have anything to do with weed? It doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know. If you guys know, like, the like the logic behind that, I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. I think it's just 420 Blazes. Like, did, did some, like, popular artist just say that or something? Like, was it just, like, a term that got popularized? Or is there, like, an actual meaning to it? Um, it's a cops thing or something? Oh. 420 is the police call sign for weed. Oh. That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, yeah. That, 420 is the police code. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I was really confused. I was like, okay, what's the relation there? Like, what's the, you know? Like, what's the, what, why? <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. I like that a lot. Um, like it makes a lot of sense. Actually, I don't know if you remember a month ago, uh, you gave me advice on starting a YouTube channel. And last night I hit 104 subs and I wanted to say thank you for the incredible advice and all you're doing is to inspire us. Yo, don't you gamer? No problem, man. Seriously, no problem. Thank you so much for just coming out, supporting the stream and, uh, and being an awesome member of this community. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Anyways, though, we got a one donation from my boy, Adam. Thank you so much, man. Um... 
Uh, oh, he said, okay, he said, don't read it out loud if you don't want to. Okay, I'll read it out loud, no problem. Um, he said, so Frank, I hope I'll see you later on today if you got time over, etc. Because I got a sleep lot going on today, hope you can catch it. Yo, Adam, I got you, man. Link it to me on Twitter, um, at Ashton Videos. And, oh, oof, oof, why did the animation not play? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious, spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, uh, but hit me up on Twitter, link me the stream, and I'm literally going to be spending a majority of today just editing. Um, so I'll be sure to, to stop by. But thank you so much for the support, man. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it a lot. Um, anyways, what is your upload schedule for when you move to Georgia? Uh, that is a great question, and I wish I had the answer. <laughs> um, upload schedule, though. Well, I guess I guess I can kind of explain to you guys my timeline of events here. So, if I pull up my calendar, it's 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 a lengthy process. I have so much shit going on over these next couple of weeks, over this next couple of months. It's ridiculous, man. These are literally about to be like the busiest months of my life. Um, so anyways, on uh, Friday, uh, the 26th of April, I'm going to Atlanta. I'll be there for three days. So that's like my most recent event. Then after that, I have uh, uh, prom and then I have graduation and then I have a bunch of grad parties um, Mother's Day, that's all happening, and then on the 31st of May, I go on a huge cruise, a huge family vacation, we're gonna be gone for 10 days up until the 9th of June, um, which, prepping content for that is gonna be a nightmare, I think Ryan is actually gonna do something, I've been talking to him about it, and uh, I think he's gonna do, like, his own little just solo project on my channel for those days, so look out for that, and also, it's gonna be my first time on a cruise, it's gonna be, my, like, my last family vacation before I move, so... Um, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a grand old time, but I am going to be gone for 10 days. So that'll be a trip. And then we got three weeks of June. I got my grad party on the 22nd. Um, and then we have the 4th of July, obviously in July, but then right after the 4th of July is when I'm expected to move. Um, wait, wait, what's going on in the chat? Hold up. Well, you should have went in August, my guy. Cruises are so good, Frank. I'm excited. I'm excited, man. Yeah, I mean, the only reason why they're why we're all doing it in June is because I literally move in the beginning of July. Like that's like my goal. I want to be I want to be moved in by like the second week of July. Um, so like that's my that's my objective here. Anyways, Ryan solo project on the Astro Channel. Yeah, it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny. Literally, it's just gonna be Ryan's. Ryan's just gonna be uploading on my channel, like dead ass. Like, it, there's nothing. Like, I'm not gonna be involved in any way. He's just literally gonna be making a solo pl uh, project for those ten days. So look out for it. Um, and that, I mean, he, he might, he might not. He might, he might not. Literally, it's just kind of one of those things where, like, if I'm unable to prep content uh, for those ten days, then he said he would step in. So he might do it. He might not do it. If I'm able to prep stuff, then I won't make him do it. But it's one of those things where like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to just because literally I have graduation like the week before. And then I have um, like literally so many just high school related things going on. Uh, it's going to be literally insane. Yo, Frank, what's good, my dude? Yo, how you doing, Shadow Walker? How you doing, man? So, in terms of an upload schedule, though, I have a lot of upcoming projects when I move to Atlanta. Uh, me and Dylan are starting a project together. We got a sleep block, a co-op sleep block happening with me and Ryan, uh, which is going to be in person. That's going to be freaking awesome. And also, it has, it has a really funny gimmick, and I, I don't want to say it just yet, but literally, dude, when you guys see this shit, you're not going to believe it. It's so funny. It's so funny. So, we have a sleep block that we're planning. Um, I'm going to be bringing back Pokemon Masters Channel which is like a weekly showdown game show type series that's going to be coming back weekly once i move um what else what else what else we have um 2v2 soul link versus that's going to be happening me ryan dylan biddy we're going to go head to head in a 2v2 soul link it's about to be fucking insane um there's a lot of shit there's a lot of shit coming up there's a lot a lot of shit coming up but it's gonna be awesome and also i'm just really excited like me and dylan's project you guys have never seen something like this like we've been planning it behind the scenes there's there's gonna be some crazy shit that goes on um, so I'm excited for that. Anyways, why did this animation stop? Come on. There we go. We're good to go. We're rocking and rolling. Um, wait, there's a co-op sleep block. I don't know if Ryan wanted me to, to announce it or not, but I just did. So fuck it. Fuck it. 2 v 2 souling versus. Damn. Mm-hmm. 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 It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um... So yeah, wait, there's a co-op sleep block? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Were you supposed to announce all of that? Probably not. Probably not. I don't care. <laughs> Shh, it'll be our little secret. It'll be our little secret. I'm excited, man. Uh, would you consider doing an Astro Lock with multiple people? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Me and Ryan were even talking about doing a co-op Astro Lock. That'd be so much fun, man. Because, like, we could get we could get really fucky with it. We could get really fucky with it. The Astro Lock is, is so much fun just, like, by myself. But, like, implementing more people into it just opens up so many possibilities. Um, so, definitely. Well, what happened happened. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. 
That's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying, man. Honestly, I think, in all seriousness, I think, I think we've already talked about all of this, except for the co-op sleep block. I don't think we've talked about that yet, but whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, what's this about Ryan uploading on the channel? Basically, I'm going to be gone for 10 days on a cruise, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to prep content because I'm going to be, like, doing graduation and going to grad parties, and I'm literally going to be, like, finishing my senior year um, uh, the week before. So, Ryan offered to literally do his own like solo project for the 10 days that I'm gone. So like he'll literally he'll record, edit, upload and he'll just make his own project except it'll be on my channel. So um yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Also him and Dylan were talking about doing live streams on my channel. Basically they're just they're just going to take over my channel for a, for a week. So that'd be cool. Would you do a project with Dobbs or Dobbs Gaming? Um well if I had to choose, I would personally say Dobbs Gaming. I'll be honest, I met Dobbs at PAX. He uh he gave off some vibes I just wasn't really a fan of. Um, you know, he started just pouring the milk before the cereal and that immediately set me off. I was like, bro, I don't know if I can handle this. We were in, we were all in the Airbnb together. So I immediately noticed that. And I was like, Dobbs, I don't, I don't know if I can handle this man. Like I, I seriously felt like I needed to leave the Airbnb. So I don't know about that. Uh, maybe if he gets past, maybe if he moves past his cereal, uh, ways, then I'll think about it. But uh, as of right now, Dobbs Gaming is is currently the only one on my collab list from the Dobbs family. Ethan Dobbs has kind of gone off the grid, so I don't know. He might come back. If he does come back, I'd consider collabing with him. But uh, in, the, in the meantime, I'm definitely a Dobbs Gaming sort of guy. Also, Dobbs Gaming, I mean, this this man is literally, like, he is the gaming channel. Like, I, you know, I, I just, I feel like that's just, that's just perfect. Um, I think, I think, I think a collab would be great. To be honest, uh, sleep block astrolock with sleep block theme poke effects. Oh yeah, dude, that's that's already in the works. Our next sleep block will probably be an astrolock, um, just because I think that'd be amazing. And also, just a shout out if you guys want to contribute to the next astrolock, whatever it may be, uh, or if you want to contribute to Masters Challenge because I'm implementing a uh, a similar system into that type of show. But if you guys want to implement, if you guys want to want to be able to contribute to these projects by adding poke effects or suggesting ideas, that sort of thing, um, then becoming a member is definitely the best way to go ahead and do that. Shameless plug, you also get videos early, as well as member exclusive live streams. We're doing a member exclusive live stream tonight. We're going to be playing Smash with you guys. It's going to be awesome. Um, so thank you all so much for supporting via membership. I really appreciate it. But anyways, I got Big Goozy with a $5 Streamlabs donation. Thank you so much, man. He says, I mentioned it when Ryan was at your place. You don't have to read aloud. Um... Okay. All right. Hold up. I got you. I got you. You don't have to read loud, but I also got a sleep block coming up on the 25th of April. Pokemon Platinum with Dono Goals, Fortnite Dances, and Onesies. Uh, hopefully, you can drop by for a sec. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah, just let me know um, like when the date comes around. April 25th. What am I going to be doing April 25th? Uh, oh, that's, that's end game day. But, I mean, I'll be at school all day, so I could probably stop by. I could probably stop by. Yeah, just link it to me when you're live, and I, I got you, man. I got you, man. Thank you so much for the amazing birthday yesterday. Yo, no problem, Luxer. L or Lokster, man. Oh, sorry, man. I keep I keep screwing up your name. Um, but no problem, man. Hopefully your birthday was great. Hopefully you had a great day. And um, thank you for coming out. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it a lot. Ryan announced the co-op sleep block when they broke him on the 18th. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, everything that I said has been has been talked about in one way or another. So we're good. We're good. We Gucci. We're rocking and rolling. We're doing the thing and our thing. I feel offended that Ashley decided to drink coffee instead of ice milk. Listen, man, it's too early for ice milk. Ice milk is more of like a midnight snack type of uh, type of vibe, you know? Mmm. Ah, delicious. Delicious. I'm pr I'm still proud of that collab. Uh, your lines were powerful. Wait, which collab? Which collab? I've done I've done a couple of those lately. Oh man. Oh, man. I mean, regardless, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm no voice actor, but I try. I try. Coffee Gone was at 1230. Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah, bro. We're rocking and rolling. We're rocking and rolling. Yeah, I mean, technically, it's still the AM for me, but... It is what it is. I actually like doing coffee combos um, at a more decent time because I feel like I feel like it does allow more people to come out um, just because, you know, it is more midday. It's more centrally located. Uh, but then again, doing it, doing it at like 6 a.m. is also really nice because um, then a lot of people from other time zones are able to hop in. So you can't rate EQ now. I know it's a shame. It wouldn't be a coffee combo without rating EQ. It definitely, definitely feels incomplete at this point. Jacob has just literally become like our go-to raid when it comes to coffee combos now. Shout out to my boy Equinox, by the way. Um, if you guys aren't subbed to him, you're doing yourself a disservice. Definitely check this man out. Wait, when's the Smash stream going to happen? It's going to be happening tonight around 7 p.m. Central Time. Look out for it. It's going to be freaking awesome. We're going to do member matches, and it's going to be a member-exclusive member exclusive stream, which basically means that anybody can watch it, but 
but just the chat will be member exclusive, so that's gonna be fantastic. I'll go live for a raid, hello, I'm joking. Bro, if you did, I got you. I got you. The problem with streaming so early is that nobody's live, because everybody always goes live at like, like 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So you go live at like noon, or you go live at 6 a.m., and literally nobody's live, so I usually have nobody to raid. Um, so I'm literally, I'm literally down for like anybody in terms of a raid here. What happens if you mix ice milk with coffee? I assume it makes an iced coffee, but who knows? That's interesting. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Might have to try it sometime. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, YouTube notifications didn't go out for this. Dang flabbit. Dang flabbit. Of course they didn't. Of course they didn't. Yo, comment down below, um, whether you guys got a notification or not. Because clearly, uh, Denissa didn't. Denisa? Denissa? I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. Um, but yeah, no, let me, let me know. Let me know, let me know. I got a notification. I feel like some people did, but some people didn't. YouTube's so weird about that, man. Um, and like also, me and Dylan were talking about it. And also, I, I guess, Ryan too. But when you schedule streams, basically, you guys might have noticed that we always schedule our streams now. Um, the reason why... Is because when you schedule a stream, it sends out a notification uh, when you first schedule it, and then it also sends out another notification when you're 30 minutes uh, or about to go live uh, in 30 minutes, and then it sends out another one when you actually go stream. Um, or at least that's theoretically what should happen. So hopefully, all of you guys got a notification at some point in that progress, that process. Um, if not, then YouTube is just failing. To be honest, it's a it's it's weird, man. No, I only have like 160. My brother has 1K though. My Insta has like 3K. Oh, I, I think Jelly's re responding to someone in the chat. But yeah, that's awesome, though. That's freaking awesome, man. Honestly, everybody starts somewhere. I was actually, I was actually thinking about it today, um, literally in the shower. But I, I have a goal for myself now. I've never really like set a subscriber goal before, but I think, I think I want. Uh, this is gonna be like a really generic goal. Like you guys are gonna hear this, and you guys are gonna be like, well, of course, you know. But like, I, I've never really like dedicated myself to this. I've never been like really focused on subscribers. But I want to hit 100k. I want to hit 100k, and I think. I think within two years, I think I could do it. And I, I, I know it's kind of crazy to think about. I know it's kind of insane. Um, and I, I know we've been around like 40K for a long time now. So the odds of it happening seems pretty bleak right now. But like, I'd like to do it. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible. But like, it's one of those things where it's a super ambitious goal that I want to set for myself. And... Um, and I, I just want to see if it's doable because, you know, like, as I said, I've never really been focused on subscribers. I've never really been focused on how many subs. I'm, I'm really not even really an analytics focused person to begin with. Um, so I've never really focused on that sort of thing. But I think it's good to have a goal. I think it's good to set that goal and just be like, you know what? If I can hit 100K, that'd be amazing. You know, it's one of those things where, like, after five years of doing this, let's let's just... Let's let's hit that peak. Let's just get that far. We've already made it this far. We can we can make it. I believe it. I believe it. I don't have a 2019 sub goal. My goal is just to be as consistent as possible. Yeah, that's that's generally been my goal as well. Like be as consistent as possible and improve the quality of my content. Like that's been like my general goal. Um, I've never really focused on the numbers, and I, I still don't plan on um, focusing on the numbers too much. But it's one of those things where like if I could do that, that would just be incre that just be crazy and crazy. I mixed insane with crazy. That worked out really well. Yo, Hoss with the membership. Yo, I gotta give a big shout out to my boy Hoss. I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Haas. I, I think that's the right Haas, right? Th this is the same Haas. I think we're on the same wavelength right now. Shout out to my boy Haas. This man has been supporting our community, supporting Dylan, supporting Ryan, supporting Vinny, like crazy. And I, I just, on behalf of all of them, thank you so much. Seriously, man. Like, it's so awesome to go into my friends' streams and see that they're, they're doing so well. And especially with Brian having rent and, you know, Dylan having a family to support and stuff like that. Like, you coming through with that sort of thing is freaking awesome awesome so thank you so much Haas and also thank you so much for becoming a member on the channel I appreciate it a lot man you're just getting access to videos early so as member exclusive live streams as well as loyalty badge as well as emotes as well as fucking well else to get access member movie nights to get all access to a lot of different things link down below it's a good old time it's a good old time it was my birthday yesterday mod me <laughs> listen man if I gave out mods for birthdays literally everybody would be a mod everybody would be a mod um but happy late birthday man thank you so much for being awesome and uh, thank you so much for being, being just amazing. I appreciate it, dude. Hopefully you had a great birthday. Yo, Coach Bruce Tipper with a freaking membership. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Welcome to the member squad. You just get access to videos early. This was member exclusive live streams. Look out for the smash stream later tonight. We're going to be doing a member exclusive smash stream. It's going to be freaking awesome. Welcome to the member squad. Thank you all so much for supporting me via memberships. Memberships are honestly some of the best way or one of the best way, best ways 
plural. One of the best ways to support the channel. Like literally, memberships are just so nice because it's like consistent. Um, like it's a, it's like a subscription, so it just works really well for like consistent income over multiple months. You know. And it's little, like memberships are like some of the most stable things you can do in terms of like earning income on YouTube. So for those of you guys who support me via memberships, thank you so much. And also it, it allows you guys to get benefits from it, which is just awesome. So um, big shout out, big shout. Thank you so much, coach. If you guys want the full list of your, of your membership perks, they're all linked down below in the description. And uh, I highly recommend you guys go check that as well as join like the Discord server. That sort of thing is freaking awesome. How much is a member? It's five bucks a month. Again, access to all the things linked down below. Um, and some of the highlights are videos early, member exclusive of live streams, loyalty badges, emotes, all that great kind of stuff. It's a great time. Hey, it's a great time. Um, anyways, anyways, just open the microwave and find a piece of roadie. Roadie? What? What is? What is R O T? What does that stand for? What does that for? What is? What is the meaning behind that? What is the meaning behind that? But um, okay, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Cool. Radical. Radical. Um, oh, is the counter not working? Needs a refresh. It takes a second to, to update, but it'll update in a second. Just give it a few minutes and it's it's got you guys. It's got your back. Um actually or maybe maybe stream labels actually No, I th I think it's just taking a second to update. It'll it, it'll it'll be good. It'll be good in a second. Mm. Good luck, my dude. You're almost there. Thank you so much, Absolute Zorowark. I appreciate it, man. Uh, what are you going to be doing in Smash tonight? World of Light, Battle Arenas, etc. We're probably going to be getting just a big arena going with you members. Um, I want to give Joker a shot because this man looks fucking awesome. And uh, he just he's super cool. And I haven't had the chance to play him yet. Also, bro. 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 I'm going to be playing Persona 5. I've decided I'm going to play the game. I'm going to actually rock out with it. I might stream it. I'm going to do it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. I was literally, I literally looked up today. I looked up like a part one let's play and I looked up, um, like the, the OST, like the, you never see it coming. You know what it is? I looked up that song and I literally was like, all right, I have to play this game now. Like I, I have, I just have to play it. I just have to play it. So I've decided I'm going to play Persona 5. The only problem is, is that I don't have a PS4. My brother does. Uh, but me personally, I don't have one, so and I and I kind of feel iffy trying to steal it from him. And also, I have a PS3, which I could probably use. It's back there. Um, but the only thing about that is, if I'm gonna play the game, I kind of want to play it like in its best form. You know, I don't really know how the PS3 version looks, and it kind of has me a little worried. Also, in terms of capturing the PS3, that could be a little bit of a trip. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I might, or I might just wait till it comes out on the Switch. That's another possibility. That might, that might be what I have to do. But then again, that kind of sucks because I want to play it now, but it doesn't come out till fall. Um, so it's a shame. It's a shame. You should stream it, dude. Yeah, I, I would love to stream it. I was actually talking about it over on Twitter, literally right before the live stream. But uh, I, I feel like. I feel like streaming it would be a good time, but I'm kind of worried just because of the fact that, like, it's it's apparently very story-driven, and it's apparently very long as well. So I'm kind of worried if I stream it, I'm either, A, not going to be able to pay attention to the story as much as I'd like, uh, or B, I'm going to end up spending so much time on it that it's going gonna, it's gonna to take me months. So, like, if I if I do decide to stream it, I have to really go hard with it. Um, like, I'm talking, like, everyday live streams. We're going to have to knock out this game. So, which I'm not even complaining. Like, if, if I end up really enjoying the game, that's going to be no problem at all. But um, it's one of those things where, like, if I do decide to play it, I have to really sign up for it, you know? Um, next solo project is Persona, is Persona 5. That'd actually be kind of cool. You know, I, I'd be down to, like, it might, it might actually be pretty good as a video series. It might be pretty good as a video series, but I kind of want to stream it because I figured you guys can kind of give me input. You guys could help me get through the game. You guys could give me tips, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Also, our next solo project, I was talking about it on stream yesterday, but our next solo project is going to be a non-Pokemon game. It is a Nintendo game, though. Um, I'm really, really excited for you guys to see it. Literally, it's something that I've never done. Like, I've never... I've never really done a a non Pokemon video project on this channel. Usually, any non Pokemon that we play is always on live streams. Um, so I'm really excited to get to edit and like play something that's not Pokemon and commentate over something that's not Pokemon. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I'm so pumped. Um, anyways, oh my god, hi Dom, guys. Do y'all see Dom? He's in the corner. What are you What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dominic isn't in here unless he has like a freaking invisibility cloak or something. That'd be kind of wild. That'd be kind of wild. Mario Maker? Nope. Nope. But that'd be pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I'm down to play Mario Maker 2. I'm excited for that on the Switch because I didn't really get the chance to uh, to play much of the original Mario Maker on the Wii U. So I'm looking forward to that. Get Dom in there. I saw him. 
Guys, I think you're tripping. I think, I mean, I could even use my other camera angle here. Yeah, he's, he's not here. He's not here. Listen, man, I got like fucking surveillance cams back here. Nah, I think we're good. I think we're gonna also ignore my messy room. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Yo, I love this camera angle, but the problem with this camera angle is I have to constantly keep up with my room. Like I have to, I have to actually keep up with like, well, I, I don't. Clearly, I, I don't. But I should. I, I, like, I should be keeping up with my room. Um, can we make you levels to play on Mario Maker 2? Oh, yeah, dude. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome, man. 100%. I never really, as I said, I never really got into Mario Maker, but I'm definitely going to be getting into Mario Maker 2, so we'll be doing some live streams of that for sure. For sure, for sure. I don't know what that Windows noise was. I think that was Google Calendar telling me to do something. He's under the bed. I, you can't you can't get under there, man. <laughs> Wait, seriously, who's Dom? Dominic is my younger brother. Um, I have two younger brothers, Nicholas and Dominic, and Dominic is the youngest. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yo, my dog's name is Jack. Yo, we're twins. We're twins, bro. Shout out to the Jack squad. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Yo, we got short tempered up in the stream. What's up, man? What's up, man? Thank you for coming out. Yo, Logster Man with the membership. And with that, we've officially hit our member goal. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate it a lot, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You just get access to videos early. So it's member exclusive live streams. Look out for the Smash stream later tonight. Um, as well as loyalty badges, emotes, all that great kind of stuff. Thank you so much, man. You are a legend. 155 members. That's awesome. That's awesome. Can we get a round of freaking applause? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Also, I added a laugh track to my to my soundboard now. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. But yeah, no, I, I was talking about it in like, I think it was the previous, previous Astrolog stream, but I was saying how I needed a laugh track. I finally added one, so we're rolling. We're rolling. Anyways. Anyways, y'all, thank you all so much, though, for supporting. You guys are amazing. I think if you stream, then you're going to get too distracted by big bombs or even with just a normal donation. I, I just want to enjoy watching you play the game, honestly. I feel that. I feel that, man. Yeah, totally. Totally. That That's a concern with mine because I know, especially with, like, how I commentate, um, especially with how I commentate where I'm always, like, in... I, I always feel the need to keep talking, keep conversation flowing. And with a game like that, you really can't just because a lot of it's voice acting, a lot of it's dialogue. Um, and so you kind of just have to like be quiet for a lot of the game and just kind of let the dialogue play and like let the story play out, which is really hard for me because you guys know I literally like I feel like if I'm, if I'm not constantly talking in a live stream, I feel like I feel like it's it's bad. Like I feel like it's I'm not doing my best, you know, like if commentary is not flowing constantly throughout the stream, then I feel like it's kind of just like, well, you know, like it, it almost feels weird to be quiet during a live stream and like focus on a game, which is typically why I stream Pokemon or I stream like Smash or I stream like Mario Kart where I don't have to focus on the game. Um, so having to focus on a game like that live is going to be a really different dynamic for me. It's going to be really tough. Um, there'll be something to get used to, but I think I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. Anyways, let's get a like spike peeps. Heck yeah. Hit that like button. Yo, and it played at the perfect time with the animation. By the way, let me know what you guys think about all these animations. I was working on them two days ago, uh, Thursday, and I'm so damn happy that I finally got them done because I've been meaning to make these animations. I've been meaning to make like the, the borders move and stuff like that. Um, literally ever since I got the rebrand back in February, and I'm really, really proud of them, not gonna lie. Anyways, anyways, I'm gonna casually update. Someone said to update the member goal. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Member goal. Let's hit. Let's hit 160. Let's be big and bold. Let's do it, man. 160. Can we do it? Can we do it? I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like a challenge, to be honest. Sounds like a picklement, if you know what I'm saying. But you know what? I believe in you guys. Um, Dom's still your Minecraft poster. <laughs> Why are you guys pinning Dominic as some like savage? You know, I'm pretty sure Dominic isn't even in the house right now. I think he's at his park. I, th I think he's at his parkour class. Um, which yes, by the way, he, he does do a parkour class. So shout shout out to Dom. Shut it down. Also, the animations totally just stopped. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, man. I don't know why it's doing that. Yo, Matthew with a $15 super chat. Ah, thank you so much, man. Thank you so diggly darn much, man. I appreciate it like crazy. Get some hype up in the stream for Matthew. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. He says, nice looking rebrand. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Big shout out to my boy Skiz, um, who actually made the artwork for it. He just, he fucking killed it. He fucking killed it. I'm still working on some more animations. I'm working on uh, the outro animation. I'm trying to redo the outro. I'm also working to redo the starting soon screen. But uh, once I get those switched over, the rebrand is going to be in full effect. And I'm so dig it excited for it. Um, so anyways, Matthew, thank you so much, man. You're a legend. You're a legend. I DM you on Twitter. Yo, I got you, Grimshell. After the stream, I got you, man. Thank you so much for the for the DM. I appreciate it. What are you doing? We're just chilling, man. We're drinking our coffee, 
hanging out and having a good time. Shout out to the Co-op Podcast. You already know what's up. You guys remember the Co-op Podcast? Good times. Mm. Good times, good times. Uh, fun fact for you guys, we are actually going to be bringing back the Co-op Podcast. We're going to be bringing it back after I moved to Atlanta. And uh, we have so many great ideas for it. Literally, the Co-op Podcast, it's its not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. You guys, If you guys remember the Co-op Podcast from like um, a couple months ago in fall, we, we tried it out. We did a couple of episodes. And then we ultimately decided that it wasn't exactly what we were going for. Um, but I'm very, very happy to announce that, yes, we are bringing it back. It's going to be totally revamped. It's going to be fucking amazing. Um, it's going to feature... A totally new layout. We're going to be in person for all the episodes. It's going to be crazy. Um, so I'm so damn excited for it. Literally, the Co-op Podcast. It's it's such a good idea. Like, I, I love the concept of having a podcast with me and Ryan called The Co-op. Like, it's so great. I just, I love the idea. It's just when we executed it before, it didn't really work out, mainly because of, like, being over Discord and, like, it was kind of tough, but like now being in person, we actually have full audio quality from both sides. Um, there's so many more things we can do in terms of like challenges, effects, things we can talk about, et cetera, et cetera. Like there's just so many more possibilities. We're going to have like a dedicated set for it. Um, it's going to be freaking awesome. Ryan's up in the street. He says, check out the Cracker Barrel. You're going to be here soon. Yeah, on my way. I'm on my, my way. We were talking about it last night, but this man literally wanted me to drive to Atlanta today, go out to breakfast with them, and then drive home. It's like a four-hour drive each way, and I was like, bro, I got I got too much to do today. I got too much to do today. I'll put co-op in the PAX vlog. Actually, fun fact for you guys, I'm going to try and finish the PAX vlog uh, literally after this live stream and get that up to you guys tonight. So look out for it. Um, if I'm able to wrap it up today, then, then and I should be able to. If I'm able to, though, we'll definitely get it up later this afternoon. Look out for it. And then on top of that, we're going to have that smash stream later. It's going to be awesome, man. I'm so excited um, for just the possibilities to come. I'm so excited for a productive day. Yesterday was a little bit off-putting. Yesterday, I really wasn't able to get my 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 feet in the sand. You know how it is. But today, we're rocking and roll. We're doing the DR thing. It's a great time. You're the better editor. That is simply false. I'm sorry, but that is simply false. Um, thank you so much for for coming out, though, No Pickles. I appreciate it, man. Did you know it, it's is a fitting? Phineas and Ferb episode, or there's a Phineas, there is a Phineas and Ferb episode called Star Wars. I did not know that. I did not know that. I, I, I knew that Star Wars had done some sort of like crossover with them. And I think even like Marvel is in a crossover with them, right? I haven't really seen Phineas and Ferb. I've seen episodes here and there and it's a good show. Um, but I never like really got into it, you know? Anyways, I went cycling for 11k and it's nice to relax to this dream. Heck yeah, Farham. Heck yeah, man. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Mid-podcast jumping checks. Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah, bro. But yeah, the co-op podcast is going to be um, insane. It's going to be a, a totally fresh new revitalization of the idea that we had. Um, and I think it's just going to be great. It's going to be weekly. Uh, we also have another idea in the works that's going to go alongside the co-op podcast, which we're still kind of working on the, the back end of that. Uh, but once that starts, it's going to be amazing. Literally, there's so many, like, there's so many Atlanta ideas. I literally have a whole list in my phone um, of just ideas for Atlanta, like specific Atlanta ideas. Literally, after I move in July, there's going to be a lot of new projects, a lot of changes that are going to be made. Um, a lot of things are going to take off, and I'm really excited for that. What time is the Smash stream? Around 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, so that's 8 p.m. EST. Look out for it. I'm literally going to be, I'm going to schedule the live stream uh, literally right after this one. So you guys will know exactly when it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be member exclusive. So the chat will be members only and we're gonna be playing some joker. I'm really excited for that It's gonna be awesome um, Anyways, woo 74 watching is 73 likes. Heck yeah If you guys enjoying the stream hit that like button. You already know what's up. What if you and Ryan are equal editors? <laughs> I mean I would say I would say that's valid, but no Ryan Ryan's just I I could never match the prowess of the King Corfish. This man is such a fucking good editor man. So excited man. So excited. Honestly, I'm just so excited to see this man's work. Also, Ryan, when's co-op dropping? <laughs> it's literally been like almost two weeks, bro. Like, <laughs> the ball's been in your court for a while. I don't know. I know this man's out to out to breakfast with his uh, family, so I don't want to bother him too much. But, yeah, no, I mean, if, if you could, like, drop co-op, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate that. Because, <laughs> literally, we have two episodes pre-recorded. Literally, just Ryan... Ryan just hasn't dropped it. And I know he's I know he's done with the edit. So I don't know what's taking so long. Uh, do you respond to random DMs? I try. I really, really, really do try. Um, I'm, I'm really bad about it, to be totally honest with you guys. But I do try. Every every now and then, I'll go through my uh, requested DMs, and I'll, I'll respond to a couple of them. Um, it's really hard to keep up with, though, just because I do get a lot of DMs. It's really hard to keep up with all the conversations I have. And also, when I accept a DM request, it opens up uh, a whole conversation with that person, which isn't a bad thing. It's just that... 
like I, I use Twitter DMs as like a, a way to like plan videos and like schedule things with friends and like like that's like my primary form of communication with everybody that I work with. So having that kind of mixed in with a bunch of, of uh, just other conversations, it gets really, really hard to keep up with it all. But I try. I really, really try. He is bad, I can confirm. Yeah, no, I, I really am. I really am. But I do try to like check it every now and then and, and respond to as many people as possible. But then I also have this really, really, um, really kind of gross uh, mindset. I, I guess it's kind of a gross mindset. I don't know. But like basically... I'll, I'll look at my requested DMs and there'll be some messages from like, you know, like a week ago or even a couple days ago. And I'm, I'm like, I'm hesitant to respond to it just because I feel bad that I waited so long, you know? And then because I feel bad that I waited so long, then I guilt trip or then I feel even more guilty and then I end up not responding. And then the longer that I wait to respond, the less likely that it is that I'm going to respond, you know? Um, so like, it, like literally there are messages in my, in my DMs from like, a month or two ago and I literally feel so bad because I just haven't gotten to him and so then by the time that it becomes like a month or two out then I, I feel awkward responding to it because then I'm like well shoot like I, I, it's, it, I don't know it's a weird mindset to have hopefully you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from um it's kind of just like a I guess like an anxiety thing it's more of just like a guilt thing um you know, and I, I know, I know it's probably better just to respond because the people, the people who got the response, even if it is a couple months late, um, I feel like they, they'd still just be happy. They got a response. Like I know a response is better than no response, but there's still that part of me that's like, man, you know, like it took me this long to respond. Like I feel awkward responding to it now sort of thing. Uh, what's your favorite intro for X and Y selling so far? Mine is episode six. I think I, I have to say, I have to say, follow him on Twitch. I, I think follow him on Twitch is like honestly one of my favorite um, videos we've ever made like dead ass. It's just perfect. Um, there's also the how you do an intro I think is great uh, there. Like I was actually I was going through and I was watching back uh, all the intro moments from X and Y and I, I do think X and Y is our best soul link. Honestly, I think X and Y is actually our best project because looking back on it i've literally had a laughing fit in every episode like there has not been a single episode where i haven't just died laughing um and that's just that's just great that's just amazing for me it's horses in the back heck yeah heck yeah how you doing is the best it just it's so good it's so good the only thing about that intro and i'll be totally transparent with you guys a lot of you guys actually noticed it too which is pretty obvious uh but in the intro my teeth look so yellow like, and I've never really talked about this, but there's a couple of videos on my channel where literally my teeth just look disgustingly yellow. And the reason why, um, is because like, I, I promise you guys, my teeth aren't actually that yellow. Like they're, they're, they're I mean, they're a little yellow, but they're not like, they're not crazy. Um, but yeah, no, so there's a couple of videos like that. And it's literally just because of like my camera settings. Like in that specific episode, I was using my windows camera app instead of OBS. And uh, I ended up just like making my teeth look like shit because then the colors were off and then I had to try to correct them in Premiere and I didn't get the chance to like really fix it. So by the time the episode came out, it was like, oh, you know, it was kind of gross. It was kind of gross, um, which now is kind of the point where I'm kind of self-conscious about it. But luckily, like as long as I get my camera settings right, it doesn't look bad. It's just like, you know, so that's like the only thing. That's like the only thing. There were so many comments about like, yo, you need some whitening strips, bro. And I was like, no, it's, it's not my teeth. It's just the camera. I swear. I swear. Dentist, maybe I do go to the dentist every single, um, every six months. Like I swear I take good care of my teeth. Um, and I, I'm not going to say like my teeth are the most perfect white. I mean, obviously they're not, but, uh, they're not noticeably bad, you know? Um, anyways, how are you doing today, Frank? I'm doing great. Equinox shout out to my boy, Jacob shout, shout, shout. We were literally just talking about it early in the stream, but like, I feel like it's weird if, if we end the stream, we don't raid you. Like, I feel like it's just, it's strange. I, I like literally it's gotten to the point where these live streams, these coffee combos, they end in a Jacob raid or they're really just not coffee combos. Um, so if you, if you want to go live by all means, by all means, obviously don't feel pressured. If you can't, no, no problem. But like, uh, we were talking about earlier and I was like, man, it, it feels off. It feels weird. How are we supposed to end the stream if we can't raid Jacob? Anyways, we got big goosey little $2 super chat there. $2 super chat. Super, 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 Stream out donation. Thank you so much, man. I don't know what that screech was, but thank you. He says, so I'm looking to get a brand or rebrand. I don't know. First time doing it. So brand, I think, LOL. Who's the best person to go to at a pretty decent price? not too high and do a great job. Yo, um, I would highly recommend. Well, okay. I, and I don't know. I don't know exactly, um, like what, what you consider a, a too high price. Um, but if you're looking for like, uh, what were the artists that we usually go to, um, I would recommend Zazu, which actually, um, I guess I can go ahead and I can go ahead and link their, 
Their uh, their Twitter's down below. Uh, but yeah, shout out to my boy Zazu. He's super talented. He's super incredible, um, and he makes some incredible stuff. Shout out to Zazu. There's also uh, Twister, who I work with a lot. He's the same guy who made the Astrolock GFX. He also made our next solo series. He's super talented. Um, there's also Skiz, who made literally this rebrand right here. Skiz is a lot more pricey um, than everybody else, so Skiz might not be your go-to, but he's still super talented. I do recommend Skiz. Um, there's also Lozy98 who, uh, also known as Guy, he's super talented as well. He made our first rebrand, um, the one before this one. He made the one with, like, Lapras. He made, uh, he made this art. He made the one, like, the with the Lapras and the Waylord and, yeah, you know how it is with the Mega Sableye. Um, so he's super, super talented. Shout out to him. What else? Who else? Who else? Oh, of course, my boy Lee. My boy Lee is Moon. Shout out to Lee. Um, you know, these guys, they all pioneer the GFX community. Hashtag Manifest Destiny. You already know what's up. Shout out to my boy Lee. Lee's fucking talented as shit, too. Um, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. So, yeah, I'd recommend all of those guys. Um, there's also Chessman. I think Chessman, Chessman's pretty cheap. And he's he's working on stuff right now. I'm actually I actually commissioned him for our next live series pack. So shout out to him as well. Um, there's a bunch of recommendations. I highly recommend all those guys. They're freaking amazing. Thank you so much, Big Uzi, for the support, man. I appreciate it a lot. Um, actually, if you don't know if I stream or if to stream Persona 5 or not, there's an anime adaptation on Hulu only sub though. Yo, actually, that doesn't sound too bad. That doesn't sound too bad. I'd be down. I'd be down to watch an anime. I'd be down. I'd be down. Uh, how much longer do we have to submit highlights for the anniversary video? Um, I would say literally May 1st. Like, deadass May 1st. I was working on the highlights last night. I was working, you know, downloading um, all the footage and stuff. Which, by the way, we had over 200 uh, responses to that to that, um, that form. So, thank you so much for contributing timestamps. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been going in. I was working on downloading all the footage uh, last night. And I was going back, kind of getting nostalgic, looking at all the moments. And it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Like, I, I think about how far we've come. And, like, looking back at all these moments. These This highlight video is literally going to be, like, just one of our best videos. I'm super excited for it, to be honest. Um, especially just getting a look back at just how far we've come. And just the content over the past five years. But if you guys do want to contribute to this highlight video, uh, there's a form link down below in all of our videos. and all of our video descriptions. I can go ahead and grab the link real no quick like um going back to soul link we'll go ahead and scoop it up real quick but yeah no if you guys do want to contribute uh, i'd really really appreciate that literally any moment over the past five years um and and it's 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 gonna be in the video so uh, thank you so much. You guys are awesome for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I would literally say up until May 1st, I want to drop the video on May 2nd. Um, so that's the goal, that's the objective, which means I'm probably gonna have to export it and render it on May 1st. Um, so literally May 1st, like I'm going to, I'm just going to keep adding to it. I'm going to keep contributing to it and then, um, we'll see, we'll see what comes out on May 2nd. It's going to be really cool, man. It's going to be really cool just to see like, just to see, well, first of all, I'm interested to see how long this video is going to be because literally if I, I'll pull this up real quick. Um, if I pull up my desktop, I can actually, I can show you guys real quick, um, all the footage I have for this, uh, for this highlight video. It's literally insane, man. Like you guys submitted so many moments. It's, it's ridiculous. Look at all this. Look at all this. These are all moments so far. And like these moments are, are like about, I don't know, probably like at least five minutes a piece, five minutes a pop on average. Um, so this video is going to be long as shit. It's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be crazy. It's probably going to be like a two hour movie to be honest. Um, how long is it so far? I haven't actually edited any of it. Literally last night, I was just going through and I was downloading everything. So I downloaded all the clips. I added the date. I added the timestamp and I added who actually sent in the clip. And I went through and I just got it all sorted by by for uh, by in a folder. And basically how I'm going to do it is, is I'm literally going to have the whole video be chronological. So it's going to start off in the beginning uh, with, you know, a lot of like the earlier moments, like my first video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then it's going to eventually just lead up. And then the, the end of the video is going to be where we are now. It's going to be a whole chronological timeline of events over the past five years. I'm so damn excited for it, man. Um, you're going to die, Frank. The mods were planning. You'll meet your demise. Yo, Starburst. Thank you. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying thank you to someone planning my demise, but thank you. Seriously, you guys going back and getting moments. Like, there, there were some moments in here that I literally couldn't believe were in there. Like, some moments that I deadass forgot happened. Um, like, there were a couple moments from the, the Ruby Sapphire Soul Link. Like, our first Soul Link uh, that my boy Farhan got. And this man literally came through. He got so many, like, just very niche moments. Like, we're not talking just intro moments. This man watched back the project and, like, got moments from the middle of the episode. And that's just awesome. Those are the types of things that I want to see. You know, I really 
really want to dig up like the old shit um so yeah and honestly I i'm noticing right now like this this overall based on the footage that i downloaded yesterday it's a good span of my channel but there's also there's a big gap like in the beginning of um, of like my history, you guys know like I want this this video to really be like a like a span of moments uh, to kind of spread out over our whole channel history. Um, but you can see like it goes from like Ruby Sapphire Soul Link, and then it goes into like some stream moments. And then it goes to, like my Ocarina of Time Let's Play, which that was super cool to see. Um, then you have like the Alpha Sapphire Sleep Lock. I feel like I, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but I feel like there's a gap in the beginning that's kind of being like misrepresented. Is that the word? I don't know. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if you guys like specifically, if you guys have any moments from like. Um, like the earlier stages of my channel th like those moments would be very much appreciated because those are obviously the more rare moments because most people weren't around during that time um, which is why I really appreciate especially the mods you know Starverse has been here forever so thank you so much for coming through with that sort of stuff a lot of the more recent moments we've gotten down like Ryan hitting the floor um, or like uh, like how you do in that intro moment or like um, uh, like Machoke Me Daddy, there was a bunch of submissions for that. So like we have those general, general like recent big moments, but a lot of moments earlier on are kind of lacking, you know. Um, so anyways, not, I mean I'm not trying to like like uh, tell you guys what to submit. Obviously submit whatever moments that you think are the best. Um, but I, I I'm looking for like a broad span, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say this without like seeming. Um, like controlling obviously I just I really appreciate you guys just coming through with this as a whole like literally the fact that you guys were even able to come through with these timestamps to begin with like the fact that you guys find your way to get this in general is just amazing this the highlight video literally would not be possible without you guys so thank you someone to give some Minecraft content oh yeah dude like that'd be perfect that'd literally be perfect I definitely want to want to show off like the Minecraft side of things for sure for sure man mm. anyways you can include the intro of your first video just an idea oh yeah I'm definitely I'm definitely going to be going back to like the um, the iconic moments. Like my first video is going to be in there, of course. Um, my first ever commentary, that's going to be there, of course. Um, like all of those like momentous occasions, like my face reveal, that's going to be in there. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Just I like looking back at all these videos, man. It's literally so much has changed. It's ridiculous. I'm probably going to look through the shiny hunting stream. Yo, I appreciate that, dude, Alex. Thank you. How many songs have you done with Vinny? Um, we did Ruby Sapphire, Hargul Soul Silver. Fire Red Leaf Green, uh, Diamond and Pearl, uh, Black and White, Red 721, uh, The Sleep Lock, the Ruby Sapphire Sleep Lock, and then X and Y. So I think this is our eighth? Yeah, X and Y is our eighth right now. Anyways, I DM Zazu like Ryan's Ruban, or I like Ryan's Ruban, and Zazu did it, so hopefully he can do a killer job with mine too. Thanks again. Thanks once again, Frank. No problem, Big Uzi. No problem, man. Yeah, this dude's super talented. He's super talented. He made Ryan's rebrand. Um, he also made the the Black White 2 co-op GFX. So he's he's killing it. He's a good he's a good boy. To be honest, you can use any moment from the Down Pearl Soul Link. Yeah, no, there were so many Down Pearl Soul Link submissions. Definitely, definitely. Down Pearl Soul Link was iconic, man. Um, when was Frank's name reveal? Skylar did it right. Oh, that's a that's a moment. That's a moment. I don't know. That was that was kind of difficult because um like like my name was like it was it was a joke on the channel for a while. That, like my name was Frank. Like it'd come up occasionally. I'd be like, nah, my name's not Frank. Who's Frank? What are you talking about? So I, I did that for a while, but then, but then eventually, I think it was Famous Birthdays that actually leaked my uh, my actual name. Let me let me pull up uh, Famous Birthdays here. In case you guys are wondering, I do have a Famous Birthdays page, which I actually I forget that I have one, <laughs> but I do. It's kind of crazy. Um, let's see, Asteroid Mania videos, YouTube star. Dang. Dang! Oh shoot, bro! Oh shoot! 18 years old. I'm Aquarius. February 13, 2001. Bro, I I actually I haven't seen this in a while. I haven't seen this in a while. But yeah, no. He they they were actually the one uh, the ones who leaked my name. Like nobody. I had never like confirmed my name. It was so weird too because like literally, um, they like I they never. I, I have no idea how they got my name. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Like. They could have gotten my first name from, you know, like the the joke on the channel. Like we had we had jokingly said my name is Frank, ha ha ha, you know. Like I could see how they get my first name, but I have no idea how they got my last name. Like deadass, I'm still confused. I'm assuming it's from my Facebook page, um, but I actually have no idea. Like it's it's kind of crazy. Yo, I'm the 25th Pokemon Web Star. That's wild. That's wild. But yeah, no. Uh, Pokemon content creator known for both his YouTube channel, Astromated Videos, where he has more than 30,000 subscribers, and for his Twitch channel of the same name. Before fame, in May 2014, he created his YouTube channel and began by posting Minecraft gameplay. Though primarily known for his Pokemon videos, he has also dabbled in games like Overwatch and Undertale. 
Um, like enlisted Leafy is a gamer known for posting Pokemon game way to YouTube. Good times, man. Good times, man. Who is that kid in there? Because this is not you. That's an old picture. Literally, this picture. Okay, you guys, you guys want a story? You guys want a story about this picture? So we were at an aquarium on a family uh, vacation ish. It was like a family mini trip sort of thing. Uh, we went to an aquarium as a family over the summer of 2017. I think it was 2017. Uh, we went to a, a little, little aquarium, right? And literally, I was just standing there. I was just standing there. I didn't even know my picture was being taken. And suddenly, my mom just just took a picture of me. Just like, out of nowhere. I had no idea. I didn't even realize. I was just standing there. And it ended up being literally the most photogenic picture I've ever seen. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's the only other picture. Oof. Oof. Could be better. Could be better. Anyways. Wait, your full name is is Frank Ruski? Ruski? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I think Vinny's on here too. Uh, original, yeah, original 151. Hold up. Yo, look at Vinny. Look. <laughs> I love how that's the second picture. Beautiful. January 9th, 1996. 23 years old. Uh, YouTube gaming personality is widely known for his original 151 channel. He has gained popularity there for his live gameplay through the Pokemon franchise, as well as library of Nintendo 64 games. For his fame, he began his YouTube channel on February 16, 2014. He has amassed over 130,000 subscribers to his YouTube channel with his popular videos. This is the duration battle. His real name is Vinny Cash. He has a dog named Harley who appears in his Instagram videos. That's actually, that's not, that's, I don't think that's true. That's not true. That's not, that's not his last name. That's kind of crazy, though. He actually, he doesn't have a middle name. Fun fact, I'm not going to say his last name on stream just because I don't think he wants me to. Um, but, you know, I think that's actually false. Is Dylan on here? Yeah, a gamer. Oh, Dylan's on here, too. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. No pictures, though. September 26, 1994, Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Gotta get that. Brad, yeet, yeet. Uh, gamer, famous for Oakland Contest, knows the guides, acquiring Pokemon items. These videos well as Red Dark Souls. I've earned more than 2,000 times. Oh, they, they updated that. They must update this recently because he didn't have 200k until like yesterday. That's kind of crazy. I was gonna make a joke about sodium, but nah, nobody will understand it. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyways, um, is Dobbs in there? Probably. Probably. We could check it out. We could check it out. Um, it's Caracciolo. He said before. Okay, yeah, it is pronounced Caracciolo. Shout out to shout out to uh, my boy. Um, Anyways, too bad you're a pathological liar, Uzi. Damn, TJ, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Okay, all right. His first name is Dylan. He's been married to his life, Lex. Nice. All right, is Dobbs on here? No, actually, is Ryan on here? No, Ryan is the only one. <laughs> Ryan's the only one. Is it under Ryan Foley? Oh, family member. <laughs> oh, that's not that's not Ryan. <laughs> yo, yo, can someone tweet this at him? Can someone tweet this at him? <laughs> heck yeah, heck yeah, bro, Ryan. Damn, you really, you really hit the big time, bro. You really hit the big time. Okay. Oh goodness, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hi, Frank. 10:40 p.m. here in India. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you for coming out to the stream. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I, yeah, I cannot believe the Ryan Foley is actually, is actually on famous birthdays. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna roast him for me, being the only one not on here, but no, this man is front and center. He's more popular than any of us. Damn. Damn. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Uh, is King Corvus really not on here? Yeah, no, I guess not. All right. Let's look for Dobbs. No, I don't think Dobbs is on here. Dang. Okay. Who else? Who else? Um, search King Corvus. He is there. Is he actually? King Corfish. Oh, he is there! Oh, okay, I was about to give him shit. I was about to give him shit. That's weird. It didn't come up in the uh, in the search bar. That's crazy. That's wild. All right, hold on. Let me switch the song. That's not that's not lo-fi. Let's get some let's get some lo-fi up in here. Where's the lo-fi? Lo-fi, 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 lo-fi. There we go. Um, all right, let's see. October 26, 1999, 19 years old, Scorpio, YouTube star whose King Corvus channel has gained massive popularity for his comedic gaming playthroughs and montages. He most notably plays games of the Pokemon franchise, Fortnite, and Dragon Ball Fortnite. <laughs> He's done what, like maybe one Fortnite stream? That's crazy. That's crazy. How you doing, man? I'm all good. Yo, Taurus Gamer, I'm really glad you're having a great day, man. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm doing great as well. I appreciate it, dude. Hmm. Look for Luke. All right, all right, I got you. And on to YouTube channel in December uh, 2011. Yeah, Ryan's been on the channel. Or Ryan? No, well, actually, Dylan. Dylan's been on YouTube the longest. Actually, I now that I think about it, I've been on YouTube the least in terms of everybody because 
uh, Dylan's been on YouTube for like 10 years. Ryan's been on YouTube since 2011. Uh, Vinny's been on since 2014, February 2014, and then I, I started in May 2014. So, me and Vinny started around the same time, but we're, we're both newbies. We're both newbies here. Bro, the entire squad here, literally. He has amassed more than 20,000 subscribers to his YouTube channel. Some of the popular videos included Dylan dropped out in college and Lugia and ho -Oh. <laughs> Dylan dropped out of college? Whoa! <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. His real name is Ryan Foley. He's been mentioned by Matthew Patrick in a YouTube video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you guys want to watch that? That beautiful video? So, Ryan's most popular video. We have to watch that. We have to watch it now. Matt Pat mentioned me. Okay. This was, this was, this was three years ago. And uh, this, was when, this was when Ryan really, like, really hit the big time, right? Literally, this video uh, went viral. This was when he had, like, a 200 subs as 32k views three years ago like this this was viral back then um for ryan and this was back like before he did pokemon stuff this was back before he did um basically anything that we do now so he uploaded this video literally just because matt pet mentioned him in a live stream and you can even tell it has that like ryan charm to it i haven't seen this video in forever so i'm really excited to watch it again um but this this video is like fucking iconic if you guys haven't seen it yet so let's let's just die it's only a minute let's just let's just watch it it's good Hey everybody, King Corfish here. Matt Pat from Game Theory mentioned me in his live stream, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on it. Uh, one second, let me uh, let me just just uh, get my. Oh no, here it comes ear rape, ear rape. Ah! <laughs> God. Okay. All right, Brian. <laughs> okay, so now like people have been asking this one so much that it's now. It's God, the quality's so shit. Wow. The quality's so shit. King Corfish. When is the dating uh, the dating sim episode? All caps, super question mark. <laughs> you went through it's so crazy. much effort with the editing too. Yeah, it's crazy. Are the, you apparently the desire for a dating sim episode? <laughs> the desire for the dating sim. Everybody needs a date. <laughs> hey, I understand the need for a date. I get it. Um, it's so Ryan. You can just tell. It's so Ryan. You know, honestly, I think. And then Matt Pat talks about the release date for the dating sim episode, which I don't really think any. And like this was this was like literally way, amazing editing time. for the time. Ryan's been editing for like so September. long now. He's go. so talented, that dude. That is for you, King, Cor King Corfish. Done. I, I, was it Corfish? King Corfish? <laughs> Mr. Corfish? <laughs> Sir Corfish? Captain Corfish? Captain <laughs> Corfish? Captain <laughs> Corfish? Captain <laughs> Corfish? <laughs> 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 it's so good, man. Ryan would be the only guy to make a full video out of Matt Pat saying his name. Your desired title. See, he's he's already been nominated, K or elected. Someone already has that. I will I will find you and I will murder you. Matt Pat threatened King Corfish. Whoa, radical, bro, crazy. Oh my god, another one bites the dust in the Pokemon community. It's so good, man. It's so good. It's literally like, it's literally just so Ryan. You know, like even back then, what, four, four years ago? Um, <laughs> so good. You can even see my comment. I literally said, I literally said, wait, you guys can't see this. Hold up. Hold up. Let me just zoom in. Actually, I'll just drag it over. Um, oofers. Okay, hold up. Hold up. This went out of hand. This came out of hand. Let's go like this. Okay, yeah, no, I, you can even see my comment. I said, um, I literally said, lol, amazing, XD. It's it's great, man. Good times. Good times, man. Watch the Asgore remix video. The Asgore remix video. Oh, was that like in the recommended? Oh, oopsie daisy. <laughs> oopsie floopsie. It was, it was probably copyrighted. I mean, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, we could just assume. We could be safe. Uh, thank you for showing us that OMG. Yeah, that's a classic. That was like the first time Ryan ever quote unquote went viral like that was like his most popular video for so long um that was way before he did pokemon stuff that was way before like he knew dylan or well actually he knew Vinny. um but he, no none of us knew dylan me and him had like just met at the time um and it was crazy dude it was crazy so time around tour 2 one of my favorites on youtube you probably know him what's your views on him um yo dude i love tarantar tube actually it's fun story for you guys tarantar tube actually was the initial inspiration for the whole intro moment thing so like the whole edited intro moment and then animated intro and then episode back in the day and i think he still does this now um but he used to have like those little teases like he used to do like a little clip from the episode showcasing something that happened in the episode then and then it like transitioned to the animated intro and then it went to like the actual episode so he 
he really started that format. Um, I just kind of took that format and I edited the shit out of it. Like that—that's basically what it was. Because even to this day, um, I don't think he does like a, like he does more editing than most people do. But he doesn't like he doesn't do like the fast-paced like transitions and cuts like sort of thing that we do now. Um, so initially. Um, he had like that format and then I just kind of took that and then I edited the shit out of my out of my little intros um, And then that's basically how that became a thing um, But yo, Toros with a two uh, pound super chat. Thank you so much, man I really appreciate it. He says my dude. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing absolutely amazing Hopefully doing, doing well as well. Thank you, man. Thank you so much uh, for for coming out Ryan's so desperate. He's showing his parents for views. Wait, was this like a Twitter thing? Was this something he's doing on Twitter? I know he's out to out to eat with his parents right now. His parents came in town for um, for um, what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Uh, what's it? What's it? What's it? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I, ha I had English. I had words on my mind. Oh yeah, for this weekend to help them like with the move and stuff like that. They it's the first time his parents have come down since he's moved. Um, and so he's getting to like show them the house and like show them how he's been doing and like that sort of thing. So. That's really cool. It's a great old time. Reply at least so I can make a, a Astro Mania videos mention me. Yo bet. Yo bet. Logster man, if you actually do this, man, thank you so much for the support. I officially mentioned you. You're awesome. Thank you for supporting the stream. Happy late birthday. <laughs> Astro be pioneering out here. No, the only one who's pioneering out here are the fucking GFX artists. They pioneered the GFX community. They said manifest destiny and they went in and they went west. It's wild. I, I'm in a really weird... I, I've been really just joking about Manifest Destiny a lot lately. It's it's fun, man. Manifest Destiny was like my favorite thing that we learned in history class. I don't even know why. It's just it's just good. It's just fun. TJ said, okay, gotta head out and get ready to record. I'll see you later, Frank. Bye, everyone. Yo, good luck with that, TJ. Have a great night. Or great day. I keep I keep forgetting we're not... Like, like this is actually an early morning stream or an early afternoon stream. Um, But yeah, TJ, I'll see you later, man. Big shout out to TJ if you guys don't sub. Sub this, man. Um, You're awesome. And I wish you the best of luck with your recording. Thank you so much for going out. Anyways, you actually watch T-Tar? Damn, I like you more now. He's my favorite, man. He's sick. His content is absolutely amazing. Yeah, he kills it, dude. He kills it. I don't watch his stuff, like, as much as I used to. Um, but, like, back in the day. Back in the day, his, his stuff was the his stuff was the shit. His stuff was the shit. It was killer. By the way, the three-way gold silver crystal intro is amazing. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. I'm actually super proud of it, not gonna lie. It's, um, it's probably one of my best in recent memory, to be honest. I was really, really happy with, like, how the verses animated in, how it went, like, it bounced, and, like, how the logo came up, and, um, I'll actually, I'll show you guys the intro, because, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm proud of it. <laughs> gold, silver, crystal, three-way verses. That's the first thing that comes up. Damn. Damn. Must really be searched. Um, oh, their versus comes up. Where's three-way? Where's three-way? Is there no three-way right now? Oh, let's go to Dobbs Gaming. Let's, let's go to Dobbs Gaming. All right, here we go. There, there it is. There it is. Let's do this again. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. Yeah, shout out to, uh, shout out to the new three-way, though. If you guys aren't checking it, if you guys aren't watching it, I highly recommend you guys go check it out. You guys already know. My boys Dylan, Vinny, and Dobbs, they're fucking killing it. They're fucking killing it. Uh, we got Luke with the 5 hour Super Chat. Thank you so much, man. He says, hey, Frank, it's 3.15 a.m. here in Australia. I'm watching the latest Astro Lock. Hope you had a better day than how you were on that episode. Love your puns, Luke. Y'all, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the support. Hope you had a great day. Hope you're having a great early morning. And um, I'm really glad you're enjoying the Astro Lock. Thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Ready? In the three-way. Oh my we'll God, watch the intro like moment. Soul link. Yo, but... Dude, y'all want to do like a three-way soul link? That would be crazy. How the heck would that even work? <laughs> Wait, three-way soul link? So, like, you would do so, like, a three-way soul link? That'd be crazy. In like a three-way. <laughs> that would be so brutal. <laughs> Damn, let's do it right now. <laughs> change this to a three-way soul Yo, I love how <laughs> Kath did that. I love how she changed the text. No, That's awesome. I'm talking after I'm done talking. Jesus. <laughs> I was literally talking. I'm so sick of this. What do I say? You didn't say shit. <laughs> God, they're, they're so good together. Their dynamic is great. Dobbs has a face? No, Dobbs Gaming has a face. Dobbs doesn't. I feel like I'm like the third one talking. In the three-way. Yo, cut your audio out one more time. Just maybe one more. Maybe one more and that'll be good. Alright, one more time. One more time. This is so good. Yo, what's good, kid? What's up, cuz? <laughs> Bro, I got I gotta do this to Vinny and Soul Link. I gotta do this to Vinny and Soul Link. But yeah, this is the intro. I love I love that especially. That's what I'm the most proud of. Honestly, is having the verses like Fucking love that. Bow 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 bow. 
But yeah, I'm I'm pretty proud of that intro. It's um it was one of those things where like I felt like recently with my intros I've kind of been on a drought. Like I've kind of just been doing the same old, same old. But I got I actually managed to get pretty creative with this one. So I'm pretty happy about it. Um, pretty hard, hard. I'm eating it. And of course, um, I gotta give gotta give shout outs to my boy Scott uh, for the music. And uh, I think Skiz did the art. Is Skiz did the art? Yeah, Skiz did the art. Of course, uh, Kath edited the video. We got Scott on the music. Um, they're all freaking incredibly talented. So shout shout out to all them. Literally, the intro would not would not be what it is without um, like Scott killing it with the music and stuff like that. So big shout out, big shout out. Why your intro is so good? Thank you so much, man. I mean, there, there's always room for improvement. You know, like there there even even so, I'm proud of that one. But like, there's still some things that I probably should have changed about it. Um, like I probably should have added a sound effect on that, like little pring. You know, like the little star thing that came out. Probably should have added a sound effect there, but. I mean, by all, by, by, for the most part, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I need to catch up with literally everyone's content. Yeah, I know it's tough. We're all putting out a lot of stuff right now. Um, so I, I understand being uh, or falling behind. It's a lot. It's a lot. Got a new Lo-Fi remix. All right, we'll rock out. Um, I wouldn't even know where to start to create something like that. Fusion Dude, honestly, it, it just takes practice, man. It just takes practice um, and YouTube tutorials and experimentation. That's really what it comes down to. Um... So yeah, do you do commissions for intros? Typically, I I don't like I don't I don't really have enough time to open it up to everybody. But like for Dobbs and Vinny and Dylan and them, I, I do do intros for them, um, just because you know they're like my friends that sort of thing. Uh, which I, I hate to like I hate to like pick and choose like that. Uh, but unfortunately, I just I don't have the time to take commissions from everybody. Um, and I eventually I do want to like open commissions because at one point I had them open I might open them up again um, after I move to Atlanta like over these next couple of months I'm gonna be really 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 busy just with like, you know graduating high school finals, etc uh, um, You know moving to Atlanta that sort of thing. So there's a lot of stuff going on over the next couple of months uh, That's gonna keep me very busy So I probably won't be able to take any commissions over the next couple of months, but after I move um, I would not be against, I would not be against opening up commissions to everybody. Um, like, I'd be totally down to do that. Especially with, you know, me having to pay rent, that sort of thing. Um, I would, I'd be totally down to doing that. So if you guys want an intro from me, uh, possibly look out, like, late summer. Like, July after I move, August, etc. Um, I will, I will definitely consider it, for sure. Anyways, during your Smash stream, please look at the shared content. There's so many weird things on shared content. Sure, content. I have no idea what that is, to be honest. Is that like a new thing they added? I know they added like stage builder and stuff like that. Is that a part of that? Um, or is that something else that I just totally for totally missed? I can't wait one day you, Ryan, Vinny, Dobbs, Dylan do a five-way versus. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome, to be honest. I'd love to do that. Let's say you did commission something like that. What sort of price would that be? Basically, what I do right now is I do uh, $50 base plus 10 per hour. And most intros take me like three hours. So typically, it's like 80 bucks, 70, 80 bucks. Uh, which I know a lot of you guys might, might look at that and think it's a lot. Which I totally understand, um, but it's one of those things where my time is so limited that I, I kind of have to charge uh, that much. And like, and like also I, I I hate to like throw I don't mean to like like diss is that, is that, is that, is that, that's that's if that's the word I can't fucking speak. Um, I don't mean to like diss anybody quote unquote, but I actually I charge the least out of anybody else who does intros in the community. Like I know Luke. Well, actually, I, I haven't I haven't really I, maybe Luke has updated his stuff. I don't know, uh, but I think he charges more. Um, I think, I don't even know if Goob might still be doing intros. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I, it, it's kind of like when you look at it from like, a like a dollar per like, like time, like you, you might look at that and be like 80 bucks for like a 10 second intro, you know, but there's a lot that goes into those intros. There's a lot that, that goes on like behind the scenes, like everything in the, in the background is animated. Um, everything is obviously timed to the music. It takes all, it takes a lot of like creative thinking to get it to where it all flows together smoothly and also, um, is constantly moving. Like that's one thing that I struggle with a lot is like keeping it to where there's always something going on because stretching out limited artwork to like a 15 second uh, what's it? A 15 second time period is actually really tough. Like it's super easy to just like throw the logo up on there and then have it just zoom in towards the camera for like 15 seconds. Um, but obviously that's not interesting. That's not cool. So what I try to do is I try to like have something constantly going on the screen, um, which is, is tough to pull off, but 
Anyways, uh, Luke with a five-hour super chat. Thank you so much, man. He says Vinny more like Cinny because it's a sin when he shows his face. Oh, got him, damn! And uh, I like how you say "got him" after your jokes makes the difference. <laughs> Heck yeah! Heck yeah, Luke. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, man, for the support. For the quality of work, it's not a lot. I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys understand. Um, it's um. It's tough. It's tough. I, I've always been really bad about doing commissions in the past because I never know like what to price myself at. Um, so I don't know. It's also that intro is used for every episode of the series. It's eight, so eighty dollars is pretty cheap. Yeah, and typically, I mean, especially like with Dobbs and um. Well, actually, I, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should say this. Um, but let, I'll just I'll just say that they they are making a profit off the series. You know, like eighty bucks just just from like ad revenue and stuff. Um, they're, they're making enough to where it's, it's justified, you know, like I can understand for like a smaller creator paying that much for an intro for a series that wouldn't make like the, the bottom line. Um, especially on top of that, like you have to commission the art and maybe even the music if you're trying to go a custom route. So, you know, I can understand for like a smaller creator, it's hard to justify. Um, but it, it really, it really does keep you on that like quality grind, you know? Um, that's honestly, that's honestly some of the best, like the best, one of the best things about being in the position to where like you are sort of a, a bigger channel, um, is that you're able to keep up that quality while also still being able to make a profit. Like that's, that's one of the coolest things to be honest. Cause like early on, um, like especially even on my channel, um, I made, I, I know on Dylan's channel too, like we made our own artwork because back in the day, you know, we couldn't afford to shell out like, you know, 50 bucks for, uh, for a, a GFX for a series package. Um, but now because of you guys' support, honestly, is, is why we're able to invest money into graphics and like get cool rebrands like this. And like, you know, it, it's just, it's cool. Um, I'll DM you when the vid is up. The Astro Media videos mentioning vid is going to going up tonight. Y'all, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Thank you. Uh, will you be on YouTube Rewind someday? I hope so. I hope so. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Even though YouTube Rewind has kind of been, kind of been, uh, going downhill. I'd still love to be on there. Yeah, bro. He's awesome. You should maybe watch him and you too. Cause you're the youngest amongst I watch and your editing is amazing. One of my favorite too. Y'all thank you so much. Um, uh, Shanko, Shanko deep, Shanko deep. I'll be the your name, right? Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate the support. I still sometimes make my own artwork. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's effective. That's why literally I'm so happy that I can make my own intros because if I had to, if I had to commission artwork on top of having to commission an intro, Oh God, man. I, I would be, I'd be, I'd be roughing it. Like I, I actually like feel sorry for like Vinny and, and Dylan and them. Um, some of the times because it, it takes a lot, especially, you know, with them also not wanting to edit, um, or not being able to edit to the extent of like Kath can edit. Um, so like they, they literally have to commission everything. They commission the artwork, they commission the intro, obviously they commission the music. A lot of the times now they commission the editor, like literally a lot of that series, a lot of the projects that they do now are made by other people. Um, or like a majority of like the behind the scenes stuff is made by a lot of other people, which is really tough because not only is it expensive, um, but it also takes a lot of just like organization. It takes a lot of prepping. You basically have to like, you basically have to like have your series planned out like months in advance um, in order to get everything together for you to actually release it. Like for me, if I have the artwork, I, I could drop a series in a day. You know, if I have the artwork, I could literally sit down, knock out the intro, um, um, record it, edit it, and it could be up by the end of the night. Um, but it's, it's a lot different when you like rely on other people to get that sort of stuff done. And I mean, a lot of times it results in like a, a really great product, which is awesome. Um, obviously having multiple people doing multiple things, but it's one of those things where it must be really hard to organize. So I'm, I'm really glad that I don't have to rely on a lot of people. Like the only, the only people that I rely on are GFX artists. Um, just because I literally can't do my own art cause I, I suck at art, but I, I can animate, I can edit. So like, you know, I don't really have to have to worry about that. And also outside of me and Luke, um, I don't think anybody does intro commissions. Like it's, it's bad. It's bad. There's actually like a severe drought of, of it. Well, actually Denoise, Denoise does, does intros, um, which by the way, shout out to him. He edits Mo's videos that he did. Mo. I'm sure you guys know him. Um, and he, he's a freaking talented ass boy, but yeah, no, outside of me, Luke, Denoise, and I, I guess Ryan, Ryan also can do intros. He typically doesn't, but he can. Um, so yeah, it's, it's tough, especially with intros. Like, oh, also there's foul plays. Foul plays makes a lot of intros now. Um, but in terms of like intro animators, there's, there's a severe lack of intro animators compared to like GFX artists in the community. Um, so anyways, by the way, you remember those live editing videos you used to do? Maybe bring it back. Love seeing you edit and learn too. Oh yeah. hundred percent, hundred percent. I've, I've actually been meaning to do an editing live stream. 
um, at some point soon um, because I just I love doing that sort of thing. It allows me to talk to you guys while I get to edit. And uh, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get on that. It's just kind of a thing like about scheduling because I also have to edit the right video. Um, like I don't want to edit, I don't want to edit like the vlog on stream because a lot of that stuff requires like my full attention. But um, maybe I'll edit like the next Soul Link episode, like Tuesday's Soul Link episode. Um, maybe, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could do that on camera. That'd be kind of cool. But the problem with Soul Link usually is that we record day of. Um, so it's kind of hard to like stream and edit it because it kind of has to get up ASAP, which means it requires like hundred percent of my focus. If we record ahead of time, I wouldn't be against editing it. Um, which by the way, shameless plug, be sure to check out today's soul link episode on Vinny's channel. It's literally, literally the best, like dead ass. I'm not even trying to flex. I'm trying to be egotistical. The best soul link episode we have ever made drops today on Vinny's channel. I don't know what time, I don't know when he's going to drop it, but when it does drop, definitely go check it out. Um, that's all I'm saying. Also, I don't know why, but my, my freaking, my freaking animation stop. Why, why are they stopping? Why are they stopping? Why are you being buggy, bro? Why are you being buggy, bro? Come on, keep moving. Keep on moving. Uh, one day I saw a person that wrote in my country. I saw a sim person similar to you and I said to myself, why is Asteroid here? There's actually, I have a lot of doppelgangers out there. There's a lot of people who look like me, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I have a pretty generic face to be honest like I'm, I'm i'm not very like you know out there pretty standard when it comes to looks just got the long blonde hair and that's basically it um but yeah no he's I, it's it's cool it's cool honestly seeing my twin just walking around uh when you did the selling with Vinny and you pulled the camera out from the game blew my mind oh you mean like when i had the yeah, yeah, yeah. you're talking about like when i had my my camera up to the screen then i went yoosh right and then it was suddenly in, in real life yeah i love doing that sort of stuff i love breaking the fourth wall that's so much fun it's so much fun, dude. That, I want, actually, I want to do more of that stuff. Mm. It's just a good time. Um, but yeah, no, I do. I do want to edit. Maybe, maybe I'll edit like um. I, I have I have this one-off video planned for Tuesday. Maybe maybe we can do an editing stream of that tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Easter. I don't know. I don't know if I want to like. I, I I might not upload tomorrow. Or maybe, maybe if it's maybe it's late at night. That'd be fine. Uh, we do have Easter plans in the morning. But uh, maybe in the afternoon we could do like an editing, a member exclusive editing stream sort of thing, um, and we could we could work on that one off video. It's gonna be a super funny one off video. Basically, the whole premise. I was talking about this on Twitter, um, but basically this whole, the whole premise of the video. It drops Tuesday, uh, but the whole premise is that basically Ryan signed into his Gmail. He signed into his Gmail on my uh, computer and on my phone, so I now have access to this man's Gmail, and I haven't been able to sign out for some reason. Like every time I try, it just doesn't let me whatever it's whatever uh, but basically I keep getting notifications on my phone whenever this man buys something because his PayPal is linked to his Gmail so whenever he buys something it shows up with a receipt it's like you just sent blah 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 money to blah 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 and in the receipt itself it does not say what he oh, does not say what he bought and it does not say um, where he bought it basically it just it just says um, it just er, what am I trying to say it basically it just shows how much it was and who exactly it was sent to. So what I've been doing is I've been going through and I've been trying to guess what Ryan is buying um, just based on those receipts. And literally, it's so damn funny. It is so damn funny because I'll just go through. Like, he'll, he'll buy something. I'll get the notification. I'll text him and I'll be like, uh, was that GFX? And he'll be like, yeah. <laughs> I'll just be like, heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. I've gotten pretty good at it too. Like I can, I can guess his, uh, his purchasing patterns just based on those receipts. So what I want to do is I want to make like a game show video, right? I want to do a video where I'm like, welcome to what did Ryan buy today? And today we have a guest star. Asteroid Mania, and then like, I'll come on. I'll be like, okay, what's up? How you guys doing? Um, then I'll be like first purchase. $15.30 on May 2nd to Zazu. What did Ryan buy? Choice A, new GFX. Choice B, a new car. Choice 3, new GFX. I'd be like, the car! And then he'd be like, correct! You know? I think it'd be so funny. I'd actually, I think it'd be so damn funny. Um... <laughs> Anyways, I feel like this is illegal somehow. I did get his permission. Um, I do, I do have his permission to do it. So I mean, and obviously, I'll be sure to like, I'll be sure to like, you know, blur out like the. Well, actually, that that might that might that might prevent us from editing it on stream, just because I'd I'd have to blur out. I'm sure a lot of like the the receipts. Um, so maybe not. 
Maybe not. Maybe that wouldn't be the best video to edit on stream. You see, it's kind of hard because, like, whatever, I want to edit more on stream, but a lot of the videos I kind of can't because either, A, I have to really focus on them, or B, um, it's stuff like that where, like, I have to be able to blur it. I don't want that to be public, you know? Um, so, I don't know. I, I want to I wanna call it What Did Ryan Buy? And I, I actually commissioned a logo for it, too. So, it's going to be it's gonna be freaking lit. It's going to be awesome. Anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Uh, do you ever get fan mail? I do. I do through uh, my P.O. Box, which, by the way, is down below in the description. Uh, my P.O. Box is kind of jank, though, just because it's, uh, it's just, I don't know, man. The P.O. Box place is really jank. I've had a lot of problems with them in terms of, like, getting the, uh, the, the actual packages to me. They don't really notify me, and it's kind of a mess. Um, but long story short... Long story short, long story short, um, I am working on, well, we're, I'm, I'm unfortunate, I'm stuck with, with their P.O. Box, I'm stuck with their uh, mail service up until I move, just because I got signed into a, a I, already, I basically already paid for the whole year, so I'm signed into the whole year thing, so I'll, I'll be there up until I move, but once I move, me, Dylan, and Ryan, um, we're going to be getting our own P.O. Box, a brand new P.O. Box, it's going to be all three of us together, and um, hopefully that'll be a lot better than the P.O. Box I have now, so I'm really sorry if you guys have sent stuff and I just haven't been able to see it because they just don't notify me or whatever it may be um i don't know can't really can't really help that sort of stuff but um yeah so you guys basically long story short you guys can send stuff it's just the p.o box is kind of jank so it's a little bit of a risk but I, I i get most of the things it's just sometimes it takes me a while to get them because i don't know they're there um so it's a trip it's a trip, man. They, they've also had a history of, like, getting things mixed up because people have put Asteroid on the package. If you're going to send something, make sure to address it to Frank Radici, um, which I, I have that down below in the description. But, yeah, no, basically, if you address it to Asteroid, then they, they think that someone else is using my P.O. Box, even though we've explained it to them, like, 50 times. It's just a trip. Um, so we're going to be getting a new P.O. Box down the line. Hopefully, we'll be able to have a much more active P.O. Box uh, once I move in July and I was even talking to Ryan and Dylan about this But I would I would love to do like a group P.O. Box opening type of video series like every single week or every, every two weeks or whatever it may be we could sit down and we could literally just all be in person together We could sit down and we could just open packages uh, From you guys from the the collective P.O. Box and I think that'd be awesome So anyway, so Frank how long are you gonna be going for I think actually we'll, we'll wrap it up in like three minutes We'll be at the hour and 30 minute mark um, and that'll be a good place to wrap it up I do have to edit the PAX East vlog. I'm trying to get that up today so I'm going to be working on that after this live stream and uh, we're going to do a raid if Jacob if uh, Equinox if you want to go live I got you with the raid um, thank you so much for, for being being an awesome guy um, but yeah we'll rock out with that and this, this has actually been really nice it's been a little bit of a longer coffee combos too I've had such a great time with this though seriously thank you all so much for coming out I'm really glad that uh, that we were able to do this live stream today because you know doing it on the weekdays is cool and all but then at, at the same time we're kind of limited to an hour and also it is really really early so it's nice to do a coffee combos that's a little longer a little more chillax and also one that is um, at a more decent time so that's cool hmm we got to keep that tradition. I'll go live. All right. Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. What encounter did Vinny get to pair with Lapras in the latest Soul Link episode? I don't know. You'll find out today. You'll find out today. Ah! Shout out today to today's Soul Link episode. It's going to be up. Uh, I don't know what time, but it's going to be on Vinny's channel. It's literally the best episode we've ever recorded. Best episode we've ever made. Deadass. Like the greatest Soul Link episode. You guys do not want to miss it. Uh, it's freaking awesome. The video is about to go up. Wait until it goes up to, to it goes up to end. Watch it on stream, yo, Lokster. I I totally would, man. But I I I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna take. And I kind of I kind of do have to get on this edit. Um, maybe we could watch it on stream tonight with the um, what's it? What's it with the Smash Bros stream? I'd be down to check it out then. Um, bro, they just bought us our brought us our food. Where are you? <laughs> Be there in a second. Yo, could you imagine if this was all pre-recorded and I was actually in my car on my way? Yo, bro, I want to do that. Oh, I had an idea. I had an idea. <laughs> I had an idea. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I had an idea. I had an idea. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the idea, though, because I don't want to spoil it. Actually, I'll talk about the idea. I want to I wanna pre-record a video. I want to pre-record a video. And then, like, just pretend that I'm live. And then just stream it. Like, just, just stream. Like, I'll record myself for an hour. Just fucking around. And then I'll do it as, like, a live stream. And then you guys will think that I'm actually live. But in reality, it's pre-recorded. Bro. 
<laughs> That'd be so funny. That would actually be so funny. You know, the, the only thing that would give it away, the only thing that would give it away is I obviously I wouldn't be able to react to like super chats. I wouldn't be able to react to like chat messages. So I think I think once, you know, I just completely ignored the chat for an hour, I think you guys would realize. I think you guys would come to the come to the realization. Um But yeah, no, that's <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be real funny. Anyways, um, it's gonna be up in like 20 seconds. All right, all right, yeah, we'll check it out. We'll check it out, and then, um, and then, uh, we'll we'll go ahead and raid my boy Econox here. You won't fool me. Yeah, I think I think it'd be pretty. It'd be pretty obvious after like 10 minutes. But it'd be one of those things where it would just be funny. It would just be funny. Um, have you ever gone axe throwing? I have not. Sounds pretty fun though. To be honest, sounds like a grand old time. Uh, let me go up. Go ahead, and pull up my boy Equinox. Equinox, yay, yay! Oh, nope, that's not, that's not Equinox. Pokemon, Equinox, yay! Shout out, shout out, shout out! Oh, he's live! He's live! The Coffee Convo's after party! Heck yeah! Heck yeah, bro! Shout out to Equinox. Shout out to my boy, this man's a freaking legend. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and raid this man. Um, actually, hold up, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes on Luxter, on Luxter Man. Um, and just see if we can rock out with this, with this video real quick. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do an Astro, or Astro, yeah, Asteroid Raid. I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm very flustered. But I'm really glad that I, I did this live stream, though, just because of the fact that... Hmm, it's a good start to my day, you know? It's a good start. It's up now? Alright. Alright, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Here we go. Here we go. Yay, 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 yay. We're gonna pause the music. Switch over. Uh, Astro Mini Videos mentioned me. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Many videos mentioned me. Yo bet. Yo bet. Logster man, if you actually do this, man, thank you so much for the support. I officially mentioned you. You're awesome. Thank you for supporting the stream. Happy late birthday. Oh my god. He mentioned me. <laughs> what? Um, I'll give you when the vid is up. The actual videos. Nice. Tonight, nice. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Thank you. Uh, will you be on YouTube Rewind? <laughs> That was good. That was good. That was good. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to my boy. Alright, we're gonna go and do an, uh, a freaking asteroid raid on Equinox. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Definitely support this man. You already know what's up. Subscribe. All the great sort of stuff. Um, and uh, I will see you guys in the next live stream. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best. Hit the like button down below, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later uh, for the PAX East vlog, as well as the member exclusive Smash stream at 7 p.m. EST, or 7 p.m. Central Time. It's going to be freaking awesome. I'll see you guys later. Peace!